Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen um, these, these little beauties. Oh, I love them. So I sat here um, and I just had a little play. And like the two I made, let me just get them. So I made these two with the Elizabeth Craft Designs die that I love. And I've made them pockets. Um, I thought I'd do some where you don't need a die. And these are what I came up with. I absolutely love them. They're still back double side back double sided. Oh, this one's got a little sticky bit of tape on. Um, and I have, oh, look at that. I love it. And on the back, look at it. Oh, that just looks so cool. And I've also put on some little tabs as well. So they can all sit nicely together. And I thought we'd make a couple today. So, um, yeah, you can see how I'm going to make them. Right. So to start off, I have a manila file folder. And I've just cut the extra bit, extra strip off so that I can get it in my, my chopper. And I'm going to put the, the folded line at the top. And I'm going to cut. I'm pretty sure I did two. Yep, I'm going to cut two inches wide. So I'll cut a couple. do and then I did five inches across I'm sure yep I'm sure I did let me just check yep five inches so you end up with these little tickets which you can keep because they make good labels this up out of the way so then you have it's two inches by five inches so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to measure so I'm going to measure between two and three just so I know that's the center and then I'm going to get my hole punch. Now I've got either a one and three eighths or a one and a half. It doesn't really matter. There's not that much difference in it, but I'm going to use the one and a half. And then I'm just going to. Just going to eyeball it on the lines. And then punch out a circle perfect and then with the other one i used the label die out of the chapter three set um now you don't need you don't need this um you can make one of these out of cardboard and then just draw around it and cut it with your knife so i'm not going to get my die cutting machine out because i've already got one cut so that's the labels those up out of the way that's the labels done and now what i'm gonna do is get my scrap piece of paper that i've been stamping and inking on and i am going to i'm going to do the round one first um and i'm going to distress it so Unlike the ones that I did in my previous video that I did in Just Oxide, um, and like I said, it also does it with normal distressing as well when you put water on it and then take the water off. It lifts the ink um, to where the water is and it leaves you with these lovely droplets. So first off, I'm going to do a little rummage over with old paper. Because I just... 
I just love how grungy this looks when you go over the top with vintage photo. Oh, the ice cream man. Can you hear him? Now, I do want it to look random. So, I'm not doing both corners. And then just... Go around the edge. I'm going to do a bit on the back. And I also like to do inside as well, just in case it doesn't stick properly. So I do round the viewfinder and I also do a bit down the edges as well, just in case. Right, now the next colour I'm going to do is I'm going to do the vintage photo and this time I'm going to do it in oxide. So I'm going to speed this up while I'm inking it because, well, it's inking. Right, so I've done the inking and now I'm going to get my water. I'm going to do exactly what I did in the last video and just splatter it everywhere. I'm going to get my heat tool and just quickly go over. I'm not going to dry it completely. I'm just helping it on its way. You could already see it changing now. And now I'm going to get my kitchen roll and just lift that water ah look oh it's so cool it's so cool right just get rid of some of this because i do like to splash i'm going to do the other side perfect dry my hand off Help it on its way and then lift with the kitchen towel. Oh, look at oh, it's so cool. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, so that is both of them inked and distressed. And oh, I just love them. Right, so now... We are going to find the bugs. Now, I know I want this one in here because he's just too cool. But I think I might have chopped. Nope, that... nope, 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 nope. I haven't. There's enough on there. Just taking a smidgen off. Right, so that one fits in there. That's perfect. And I have got a butterfly left. Now, I think this butterfly is going to be too big. It is. But I like it, so I'm going to use it. I'm just going to snip a little bit more off this. as well right now before we glue those in i want to do some stamping 
put that out of the way. So, I have, I found some more stamps, would you believe? <laughs> I found some more stamps. Um, I was, again, I had a look, quick look in my old craft room because I've still got a few bits in there. And I just, I found some um, old, really old stamps. So I found this flourish, which I thought was quite cute. And this is by Inka Dinka Doo. Um, I, I know it's old. Uh, don't know how old or whether they still do it. I haven't got a clue. And I found some of these um, clocks and watches and tickets and stuff. I don't know who they're by because they were just like this. I haven't got a clue. And there's um, a little script stamp there that I want to use. Um, and I might use this little clock die as well, uh, stamp as well, just sort of stamp off the edge I think because I'm going to put some ephemera over the top anyway so um yeah it doesn't it's it's just for background effect so I'm going to do this clock and I think I'm going to do it in old paper distress because I want it in the background but oh it's a clock or a dial or whatever it is I don't know what it is um it goes this way up yeah I just want it to kind of fade in the background I don't I don't want it to stand out too much and that that there that's perfect it's just perfect I'm just going to give it a quick Just to dry it off because I don't want to smudge it. And then give that a good wipe. And now I'm going to do the same on this one with the flourish. And that's perfect. That's just enough. So I'm going to do it smack bang in the middle of the fold. Just like that so it comes over each edge and again just there so that's perfect I love this stamp I'm so glad I found it I have a feeling I'm going to be using it quite a bit in fact I like it so much I'm putting it on this one as well a little smidge in there oh i just love the old paper distress in the background when you've already distressed it with your inks it just oh it's just so subtle i love it right i'm gonna do some going the other way now oh see look it's just perfect absolutely perfect i love it and i might want a bit and across the top just like that ah love it old paper is just the perfect color absolutely perfect right now i'm going to take my little script stamp that i haven't got a clue what it says um but it's just too cute not to use and i'm going to use the versifying claire and then i'm just just dabbing it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bend it in the middle with my finger over the top so that then you don't get like a square impression you kind of get it looks like it's been worn if that makes sense I'll show you just see instead of if you were just to go like that and you'd be like right okay um you kind of it kind of makes it look like it's been worn oh i love it i want a little bit more up here oh see oh cool oh it's just so cool That kind of effect 
where you just you 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 will get your fingers mucky. Perfect, 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 perfect. Love it. Right, give my little stamp a little bit of a bit of a wipe. Right now, I am going to do some more more prominent stamping. So, oh, what stamp set shall I use? Shall I use? Yeah, I'm going to put a signature on the back. So I'm going to use my Kathy Holden sign here. Um, and there's this tiny little signature at the top here. And now, because I've been, there it is. I was going to say, I've lost my acrylic block. All right, now I'm going to do these in black as well. Um, right, where shall I put it? Right, just so. going to put, put it at the top because there's nothing up here. Perfect. Um, what else have we got? I think I might do this one, but I'm going to do it in the vintage photo. Yep, I'm going to do it upside down apparently too. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. Right, so let's do one there as well. Perfect, 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 perfect. And I, I, you know, I like my my approved stamp, which I've got on upside down. And this one, I'm going to put just there. And then on here, I'm going to put on the side. Now, you might not see a lot of these once I put the ephemera on, but it doesn't matter. It's all just to look at. Um, what else have we got? Right, let's have this long one. Oh, come on. Because it's quite thin. Let's put him just there. And I want a number. Oh, we've got one on there wonky. Right, so up in this corner, um, I'm going to move it across, and no, I'm not, I'm just going to put it there, because I'll put the brads there, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, right, and now I'm going to use this one on here, and I think I'm going to put you down here. Right, now I'm going to get my field notes and see if there's anything on here. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's do this one. Let's put this one on the back. Will it fit? Will it fit? Will it fit? Will it fit? There's the crease. Yes. Yes. All right, let's put it on this side as well. And this one, I think I'm going to go down the side just like that. Right. Um. What else have we got? Right, so we've got the male stamp. Don't really need any other circle stamps. Oh, figure one and figure two. Perfect. Oh, oh. Nope. 
Yes, now I am going to use that. Right. And I'm going to put this just, just there. And on this one, I'm going to put it just there. Right. So I think I'm done with, where did I get you from? There. Yep. Right, so I think I'm done with the stamping. Which means that now we can we just put all these lids back on here. Right, so now we can put in our bugs. Right, so this is the front. And I'm going to use art glitter glue for this just because it sticks so fast and I still can't find my skinny double-sided tape. Right, I'm going to get my beetle and then make sure he's, oh, let me lift this bit up so I can see that's it. Make sure he's in the center. Perfect. Oh, he's moved. All right, stick him down. And now we're just going to put glue in the whole center of it. And we're just going to fold it over. And then I'm going to get my, where are you, my brayer. And I'm just going to bond it together. Because for some reason, going over it with a brayer, I mean, look at that. It just... I don't even know what it does, but it kind of almost flattens it and does everything. It's such a good amount of pressure to put across something. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. Right now, let's put him in as well, because I know it's too big. But it's cool. And I do love this one. Right, so in the middle, it goes. Right, now this one needs a little bit of trimming. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go underneath. So it's not completely hanging over the edge. And now, again, just glue it all. Push this over. Oop. A little bit of laminating sheet there. Get your brayer and bond it. Get the glue off me mat. Oh, they're so cool. They're so cool. Right, now I'm going to get... Where is it? Where's my little chomp chomp? Here we go. Right, now, so on the smaller side, I have set it to four notches so that I, they're all going to be the same. And then what I do is I put the four notches to the end of the paper... 
and then to get it exactly the same on the other side i am going to go over the signature a little bit but that's fine and then they're going to be both in the same places yeah i have done that on the right side Whew, just checking all right so again up against the edge of the paper clip oh that one's stuck got it and then again to the edge of the paper and clip perfect every time love it oh 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 and i've i found <laughs> so on my hunt for things um which is what I like to do in my pastime. I love to go on to Amazon and just see what goodies they have on there. I found a new three-way punch. And wow. So first off, the reason that it was like, I need this punch is because it has a ticket cut out. That's just... Everybody needs this in their stash because, I mean, yes, I know you can do it with your cropper dial and a whole punch and everything, but, you know, perfect every time. And it also does these two edges as well, which I thought were really, really cool edged labels. So, yeah, it's a three-way punch. This side does this edge, which I thought was really cute. This side does this edge, which I thought was really cute. And this side does the ticket edge, which I thought was winning. So, yeah, I brought it. Um, I will list it in my Amazon shop if anybody's interested. You don't have to. I just thought it was a really cool punch. So I wanted to add it to my stash. So, yeah, I have that now so I can make tickets galore. Um, right. So now I want to have a look. I've got the sun shining through my skylight just up here and there's a tree go that goes over the back of my um, craft room and literally every time the tree moves the sun goes in my eyes and yeah oh it's so bright right so let's tip these beauties out of here and see what colors we want so I think I'm gonna use get me tweezers because my sausage fingers won't be able to pick these up um yep so i've got like a hammered silver kind of color yep they're both the same so use them for one and then i think i'm gonna go no that's another one i think i'm gonna go down the antique bronze If I can pick it up. Oh, look at that. Look, I've got two at once. They're not the same colour. So, are they the same colour? No, I don't think they were. Right. They're the same colour. Right, so we'll use those. And then we'll just pour these. Back into its jar. And we'll put the brads on. We're going to put the brads on just so we know um, where to put the ephemera. Right, so which one can have the silver one? I think I'm going to... Oh, where are you gone? I'm going to go... Now, yes, I know what you're saying. Tony, you should have put the brads on before you glued it together. And I know I should have. But by the time I was knee deep in specimen slides... I didn't realise, I forgot, I completely forgot I could have done that. I was just too excited. So, it's fine, because what I have done on the other ones is I have used my new gorgeous tape and covered them up, and I think the tape looks awesome. I love that tape. So, I thought, well, carry on. Then they all look cohesive, which is, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say that's what I was going for don't tell anybody right so i'm going to put these brads in and they do hang over the edge so what i want to do is i want to put them lengthways like that and then i'm going to get my acrylic block and i'm just gonna push down Ooh! 
so that then they're proper stuck. And then I'm just going to get my scissors and I'm just going to lift. Oh, come on. Cut them off. There we go. And the tape I've got is this. And it's so cool. I love it. I got it from Zara Home. Who'd have thought that Zara does washi tape? But it does. Now, I don't want it to be straight, so I'm just going to take, I'm just going to rip it by hand. But I'm going to go slow because it has a tendency of going off to the side. So, perfect, perfect. Oh, look at that, look. <sighs> Going to be sticking right over me stamping. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, you run over a little bit too. It needs to be on the end, on the edge, Tony, on the edge. Perfect, and I don't want it going over the side, so I'm just going to trim it off. Let's move that out of the way. There you go. And then all I do is I get my ground espresso, and then I just just grunge it up a little bit like that. And I know it's washi tape but it does stay if you dry it because once you just your distress inks dry it's permanent perfect perfect right so that's ready for some ephemera oh this this sun flashing in front of my eyes is it's getting a bit much i'm not going to lie right so let's put the brads in here it was almost like I put them through both sides so I could use the tape. That's what I'm telling myself. Right, so push down, uh, push down, and then just straighten it up. Just like that. Perfect. Again, just going to trim off. Oh, don't know where that went. Oh. Perfect. Right, I'm just going to move that then. So I'm just going to give it another squeeze down. Rip off some more tape. Oh, put that on your table tone so you can use it later. And then over the edge. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Again, a little bit more ground espresso just to grunge it up a bit and I'm just gonna that's better because it was lifting a little bit and da -da! now we're ready for some ephemera right so I've got my curator snippets because these are just there's some kind of static in this box these are perfect for this size um, project. Love this one already. All right, so I'm going to get my scissors and just lightly grunge up the sides. And I'm going to need my Distress Vintage Photo. 
and just do the edges. And I found my better tweezers now, so. They don't fall out my hand. All right, let's put you there. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> oh my God, these, I love these, these curator snippets that honestly, they make everything look so genuine. Oh, I like that one. And um, no, you're not the color scheme I'm going for, so I'll use you in another day. That would look cool there. Um, what else have we got? Nope, I'm pretty sure I use that on another one. No. Uh, um. Yes, because I like the green. I've got the the old the old paper distress in that one. Oh yes, and that one. So it might bring out the green in the distressing. Yep, might use that one on there. And that one too, because that one's cool. Um, <laughs> what else have we got in here? I do like to... Oh. Yes. I do like to use a round one on here. Nope. That's too round. <laughs> <laughs> I do like to use a round one. No, that's too round. Oh, but yes. Yes, 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 yes. With that. Nope. Um, have we got another one? Yes, look at that. Winning! Right, um, right, come on, that's it, right, come on, just, otherwise you're going to be here all day. Because it's like a little treasure trove. This one is a little bit too small to ink. And I'll probably end up with more inkier fingers than an inkier piece of ephemera. I honestly walk around most of the day with yellow fingernails. People must look at my fingernails and think, ugh. But it's not. It's literally, see? <laughs> uh, I have got vintage photo nails. There's a new colour for you. I'd buy it. I do want this one. Oh, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. Oh, look at that. Is it in the middle? Oh, we've got some spillage. That's it. Oh, look at that. Oh, love it. Love it. there how cool is that oh it's so cool right now this side what have you all been doing for the weekend i have been crafting I wasn't actually going to um, make a video. Do I want to use this one? Should that one go under that one? Yes, it should, Tony, straight away. Yeah, I wasn't going to film this. I was just going to do it and just put a picture on Instagram. But then um, when I was, I think I was on the second one, I was like, no way, no way, because there's going to be so many people that are going to want to make these because they're so cool. So then I thought, turn the camera on, Tone, turn the camera on. Because it's one of those crafts that's just, oh, it's so easy, so therapeutic. But yet yeah, the results are amazing. 
I know I'm not the first person to do this. I know they've been done before. But it is my first time doing it. Right now, should we put this down here a little bit? Put it, oh no. Um, let's just put him down here. I kind of sometimes I like them overlapping, so it looks like so. Oh, we've got some spillage. Um, so it looks like someone's just gone like, yeah, I put, I've put me thing on there and then someone else has come along going, oh, I've put, I've done it as well. You know, like when they, they say like, when they go in and they clean the toilets and they have to sign the sheet. That's what I kind of think these little, these little bits of ephemera. Right now, do I want... I want that like that. Yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. Perfect. Oh, do you ever make a craft that you honestly, you, you make it and then you just sit back and you just go, oh, it's just, you just can't stop looking at it. That's what this is doing to me. I just literally can't stop looking at it. Right. Nope. That's too green. Yep. I don't like to put a lot on the back, but I do want something on the back. Yeah, I've been sitting in my craft room since clearing it out. Oh, the chi in here is just awesome. So I've been sitting in my craft room listening to Crime Junkies podcast because I'm about a year behind, um, which is cool because I do love to binge listen to it. Um, yeah, and I've just been crafting and stamping and all the good stuff. Right, do I want something here? Because that to me looks a little bit... Um... Could cut a strip off of one of these, and then I should have some. Oh, hello! That looks very specimen to me. Oh, don't go on the floor. Perfect. I knew I got a bit carried away with that glue then. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's the front and there's the back. Right, now we need some little smidgen on the back here. So what about that there? What should we put that over there? Oh, I don't know. Kind of like that one there. How many, <laughs> how many of you sit there when you watch, when you watch your YouTube videos and somebody's doing their placement of um, ephemera? How many of you sit there going, no, don't put it there. Use that one. No, don't put that there. Oh yeah, I like that one there. Yeah, put that there. <laughs> I do it all the time to myself, obviously. 
or when they they put some um pick pick a piece of ephemera and they're like no no i don't like that there no i'm not gonna put that there and i'm like no leave it it looks good I'm going to put that at a bit of a, a bit of a wonky moment and I know all the little bits like to fall to the bottom yeah I'm not going to distress this one I'm just going to ink it Does this one go up there like that? Yes, yes, it's gonna have to because I just left a glue splodge. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I love them. I love these curator snippets. Absolutely love them. They stay forever and ever and ever. Right now, I don't know. Um, shall I? wrong side um this side and it's going to be hard because you've put a brad in yep you're not gonna be able to do it because you put the brads in so no we're not going to round the corners um but we are going to put the tags on um and because i have three light colored ones i'm going to use the dark colored ones on these two just so it's um they all match Right, now, and because it's dark, the um, the vintage photo won't show up. So I'm going to use ground espresso on these. But I'm going to fold them first. I'll cut these just out of um, some paper pads I had um, that I got from a craft shop in the UK called The Works. And there was only some of it I wouldn't really, I wouldn't use the paper. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to cut a load, get my punches out and cut a load of tags, tabs, um, circles, stars, all sorts. So now I've got a big tray of paper punches out of paper that I wouldn't have I wouldn't have used for a project now I am doing the insides again just because if it overlaps it's it's just gonna it's just gonna blend in right um now let's put these on and get my uh, glitter glue Oh, you came out a bit fast. I'll spread you up there. Perfect. Perfect. Where's my brayer? Yep. Oh. It squished all the glue out. Let's get that off before it dries. And off me mat. Perfect. Right, now let's put this one on. Measuring it up, making sure it's equal. Oh, no! <sighs> Come on, Tony, get a grip of yourself. Oh, 
That's it. Whew. That was a close call. Right, now I'm just going to get my other one. Got a little, little bit of a hot flush off of that then. I didn't think it was going to... It was going to move. Right. Now I'm just going to put this over here. Grab me pencil and just do a little circle. Do the same on this one. Get me cropper dial on the lot bigger setting. And then, boff. Oh, love it. Right, keep that out. Because I need some eyelets now. We've got bronze and we've got silver. So I can see a silver one. Perfect. Uh, no, that's a gold. See, you don't, in these multi-packs, you seem to get a lot of silver and a lot of gold, but you don't get a lot of the antique, do you? I'm going to have to buy a pack of just the antique. Ah! No, that's silver. Oh, that was a bit cheeky. That's, no, that's silver. Oh, hello. Perfect. Right. Make sure they're on the right ones. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, oh, I love them. And there we have it. Have my little chain to put them on. And there we have our specimen slides. Oh, they're just so cool. I love them. I do love them. And I'm going to look at that look. Oh, they're just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love them. I should have done two that colour, two that colour, and then two the same as that. Um, yeah, thinking about it. But hey-ho, I absolutely love them. They're just so cute. And it is such a cool little craft to do. Um, I'm definitely going to make more. Definitely going to make more. And now I'm, I'm just going to put them... All on my little link chain. You could use one of those book rings as well. You don't have to use these chains. Oh, don't fall through. Woo! That was close. That was close. And there we go, your specimen slides. Oh, I love them. Look at them. Oh, they're so cool. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so there's those. And then we have these ones as well. Where's the other one? Yes, lots of specimens. And now, and then, I mean, and even, I'm a little bit excited. You're going to have to bear with me. Um, so, because I did all the die cutting, didn't I? I still have some tall dies to play with and the small dies as well. And I've got an idea of what I want to do with these small dies. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that one. But I've also got the file folders as well. And there's something I want to do with the file folders so it all coincides together it's all going to be able to work together so kind of like i want to do a file for each slide 
um with like you know information in it about oh this is the ladybug and blah 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 and all that kind of thing so it all coincides with a stamp image and and things like that but yeah anyway stick around keep your eyes out because i still have so many more ideas of where to go with this little kind of mini specimen buggy moths butterflies series um that i've got going around in my head i need to put it all down on paper because knowing me i'll walk into the house and then i'll be like oh chocolate and i'll forget so thank you everybody for being here i've had so much fun i absolutely love these they're so cute don't forget to tag me if you make some um if you don't post youtube videos you can still use the community tab so still you know tag me if you're not on instagram or facebook or anything like that tag me in the community post because i would love to see what you create um if not then all my socials are linked down below my instagram my facebook um yeah tag me i really i'd love to see your work um and i hope you do try this i hope you have lots of fun creating as well and i'll see you in my next video take care everybody bye